So let's build some more stuff. Version two, we're gonna add a bouncing ball to the container. The ball will bounce inside a box. So here's our world obj, our interface, that's unchanged. Here's container, that's unchanged. Here's our box, that's unchanged. Okay, let's go look at balls. Okay, an object of class ball represents a ball at the given coordinates, at the given speed, living in the given box. The ball will ask the box for information about its left and right edges. That's how the ball will determine whether or not to bounce, right? You guys have all written bouncing balls at this point, right? It was bouncing rectangles, whatever, okay? So here's our ball. A ball is going to be an object that um, implements world obj. It's got some init fields, x and y, which is the position of the center of the ball. It's going to have an init field box, which is the box in which the ball lives, right? The ball is going to have to ask the box for information about its left and right edges, so it has to know where to ask. Okay, and it's got a, in, I've, uh, it's got a current speed, which is going to be either positive or negative. Okay, uh, let's see, we have another field, which is a radius field that says how big the ball is. And so uh, when we add, add to scene, we're going to place a circle of the given radius in outline, and we're going to color it red. Now we're going to place it at the specified uh, position. <coughs> no? That all very interesting? Okay, what about balls? The ball, doesn't, the, the ball just bounces. It doesn't respond to anything. So it doesn't respond to mouse events or to key events. Okay. What is it going to do uh, on a tick? It is going, it's going to be moving, so it's going to be responding to time. It's going to be responding to ticks. Okay. So, um, right. What are we going to do? Right. So I say on tick, uh, if, if we hit the right edge, we're going to place it at the right edge. If it would hit the left edge, we're going to place it at the left edge. All right, let's say that again. All right, so the ball is moving. If on the next tick it would go past or go, it would reach the right edge, what do we want to do? We place it at the right edge, moving left. If the ball is moving left and it would hit the left edge, then we place it at the left edge, moving right. Again, this is code that you've already written a few times. Okay. Otherwise, we have um, normal ball movement. Right. The ball, uh, we have a returning new ball uh, with the X, the X field now uh, having the value of the old X field plus speed. Right. Right. How do we place a ball at the right edge? Well, a ball at the right edge is a ball whose x coordinate will be the right edge of the box. We're going to ask the box what its right edge is. And then we're going to subtract the radius. So the ball appears tangent to the right edge. Okay. And oh yes. Uh, it's going to be it's going to reverse direction. <coughs> Similarly, how are we going to place the ball at the left edge? Well, we are going to ask the box where its left edge is, add 
our radius to it so that the ball appears tangent to the left edge. And our speed is going to be um, the negative of what it was Now, next thing we have to do is we have to write would hit right edge or uh, would hit left edge. Well, when would the ball hit the right edge? Well, if we're going to say, what are we going to do? We have to think about the ball current position x and, it, and the radius. Right, so here it is. Here is the ball. Here. Here is x the ball. x plus radius tells you where the right edge of the ball is. The ball is traveling at some speed. If that right edge, the forward edge of the ball, would be past the right edge of the box, it would bounce. All right, it would hit the right edge. Similarly, we can ask, would the ball hit the left edge? So again, here is the ball. It is traveling left. The ball is at position x. So its leading edge is at x minus radius. And again, we add the speed to that. We add the speed to that. That tells us where the ball, where the left edge of the ball is going to be in one tick. If that is less than the left edge of the box, then we would have hit the left edge. OK? And that's all there is. What could be simpler? Okay, so let's build ourselves a, a world. Okay, so we're going to build a box. We're going to build ourselves a ball. Uh, and we're going to tell the ball that this, the box, is its box. Okay, and now we will build a new container containing the box and the ball. All right, everybody happy? All happy? Let's see some libels. I'm going to interpret that as happiness. Right, right. So run world is going to be uh, unchanged. OK. So let's run this guy. Um. Same lousy test. So, so what is the big topic of discussion? Here? There are lots of discussion. Anyone want to share what the discussion is? Yes. So the comment was the contract in the contract for um, in the interface. That's an excellent question, actually. Okay. So let's go back and look at that.
Okay, so the contract, let's just look at on tick, right? That's the simplest one. The contract for world obj says that on tick, apply to no arguments, you're supposed to get another world obj back, right? And the comment, and the comment was, if I understood you correctly, that here in ball on tick returns a ball. Right? That's the, that's the, is that the problem? I can't see it. Yes. yes, okay. But, but wait. Right? Ball implements world obj. So this is okay. Right? The contract in the interface said on tick is supposed to return an object that will respond to the methods in the world obj interface. And ball does indeed respond to the methods in the world obj interface. So we're okay. Okay, this is legal. More questions? Yes? Can you have a class without interface? Sure. Can we have a class without interface? Sure. We wouldn't know what it did. Okay, interface is part of design. Okay, as soon as you have two different classes that respond to the same set of messages, you want to have an interface that documents that fact. Okay, let's run this guy. We all ready here? Let's 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 do it. Okay, here's our ball. It is bouncing nicely. Oops. <sighs> well, that didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because the ball, right? The ball knew about the box. Right, the box, right? But Every time the box moved, every time we dragged the edge, what did we get? We got a new box. We all didn't know about the new box. It's the new, all it moved out to the old box, the box we gave it. 